Hey guys, welcome back to some more Cooked Homemade. Today is a quick haul. Tesco and Lidl, just a little bit from Lidl on the end. So here I got 600 grams of Irish lean diced beef. And we got, instead of five pound, it was three pound 35. Then we found some heck chicken chipolatas. These have got um, chicken and tomato. 10 pack was £3, now £1.20 and this is from Tesco. Got some pork sausages, these were £4 down to £2.72. Some of these will be used today because the kids made their request before they went to school of uh, hot dogs. So Then we got six pork and chorizo sausages, I do like chorizo that's why I picked these ones up. These were 260 down to 179. Then just a chef's base. It's just onion, carrot and celery. That was 75 down to 54 pence. Says so we're chopping some up for a recipe today or tomorrow. Some strawberries. 225 down to 184. Not much of a reduction, but a reduction is better than nothing. Then I've got some mushrooms, just for general cooking, cherry tomatoes, prices will be put up unless they've been showed like on the reduced stickers, some blueberries for my youngest, no eldest, <laughs> and raspberries for the youngest because she likes those. So. Scarlet apples, these were Good on a cook card, weren't they? Hmm. Half price, I think. Can't remember what it was, but husband will let you know. So the pack of gala apples, cucumber. That was less than fifty p, but I think that's the same everywhere, really. Some peppers. Might do a spicy stuffed pepper recipe at some point. Large flat mushrooms. Husband likes to eat these for breakfast. A bag of four baking potatoes. They were on club card down to a pound. I think usually 160 odd. It's the only time I buy these ones is when they're um, on offer. My kids like those as well. So got some salami slices. As you know, we do like to put, make some pizzas at home. Got some pepperoni slices. And corned beef, I like the corned beef. And instead of getting finger rolls today, I decided to get some white sub rolls. I've never noticed these before. So I figured my kids would prefer these. Normally I get a eight pack of finger rolls and Give the kids two each and chuck the rest because nobody eats them. So I've got some ripe and ready bananas, mainly, mainly the younger one that likes these, if she can get to them quick enough. <clears throat> I'm not saying who these are for, they're so nice. Just a packet of cheap tissues. couple of cream horns filled with cream and sticky fruit jam. There's a picture. My kids like those. Then we've got some Bon Mama berries and cherries conserve product of France. We're getting posh. We'll be going to the posh sector soon. <laughs> Never tried it before but thought we'd give it a go. Six sausage rolls. This is basically kids have got school dinners all week, so they like to have a sandwich when they get home. So yeah, we pick up stuff to go with sandwiches. Pork pie, and it's nice and crusty on the side and bottom, which is what I really like. I'm not bothered about the meat, I just like the crusty pastry. I've got a packet of streaky bacon. 
and a packet of back bacon. Pepperamis. Both the girls like these, but mainly the eldest. Got to have salted butter for everything. Big pack of eggs. There's really very limited on eggs. So I've got them, but two of them's already broke. That's what you get when you don't look what you're doing. Right. I know I bang on about pita breads and that. I don't like them. But I found these. I have no idea if these are a new product or not. But it's like a soft piece of bread. I don't know if anyone else has had them. But these I will try because they look and they feel really soft. So yeah, look for a recipe with these very soon. I don't know how long they'll last if they've got a good shelf life. We you notice the date, Steve? Oh, side. 4th of December. So it's not a massive shelf life, but like pita breads would be. But I am excited to try those. I'm redoing the pasta and shells video. Seems I got all steamy on the last one and never noticed the lens. So yeah, that's what that's for. Just some cheap margarine. I don't eat margarine like I do butter. I just use it in stuff like mashed potatoes and stuff like that. Bag of British all-rounder potatoes. These are not bad really from Tesco's. I'm not admitting who's having these. Onion rings. Oh, oh look. Another packet. <laughs> Do I need to tell anybody who that belongs to? Leave it in the comments if you know already know without me saying. So we've got some Bramley apple sauce. We use a full pot of this every time we have a pork dinner. So, always got to have it in stock. Chicken gravy granules. I'm finding the Bisto gravy granules when I use them are not make. you have to use nearly three quarters of the pot to get your gravy to thicken up. And I find the store brand ones are much better now. Might not be the same for all of you, but that's what I'm finding. So, I buy the tomato and basil sauce for meatballs. That's the one I use when I do my um, sausage ragu. But I always buy the creamy pasta bake sauce when I do the stuffed shells. And then I add cream cheese to it. Oh, I forgot the cream cheese. <laughs> Bottle of fairy, we all need wash it up liquid. Bottle of crisp and dry. Is it me or the change the packaging? Sure they have. My husband's favourite thing in the world, crispy bread. He's already eyeing it up now. One pound fifteen for that great big tiger bloomer. So I don't think that's bad. And it feels nice and soft. Plain pizza for the girls sometime this week. They will top it with the toppings that we've got. Four pint of milk. and a box of Choco Snacks. So we have four random cheap pencil cases here. Our children do have a big table set that we bought them when they were younger. They're now too big for it. It's in really, really good condition. So I'm gonna put it on Marketplace, I think, but I need somewhere to put all their pens and paintbrushes and stuff. So these were a pound each from Tesco's. If anybody's after any, they're big. Hopefully they'll hold everything. So I've just got four of those. And that is it, you guys, for the Tesco part. I'll see you in a minute for the little bit of Lidl. Right, so we're back with the, literally just a handful of things that we got from Lidl. Husband went in for some juice. There was absolutely none anywhere. I'm refusing to pay the Tesco price, but none anywhere. If it comes to it, we can go to Sainsbury's. So it did come out with some reduced chicken wings. They're d reduced down to £1.04. chicken wings with chips or whatever there's also some drumsticks down to 94 pence not a fan of drumsticks so the rest of the house will eat those 
two packs of beer. I'm sure this is why you went in. He's grinning. <laughs> no wonder we were so keen to go to another shop. His coffee, which I'm guessing he forgot about because it's still there. Yeah. Chocolate OTs. He won't touch these, but as soon as that packet's open, gone. You don't get a look in, so take what you want as soon as you open the packet. <laughs> That's what our house is like. So two packs of these, and these are actually really, really nice. I think they're comparable to the hobnobs. Chocolate shells. My youngest is the fussy one with cereal, so yeah, he'll give you prices on them when he when he does it. And chocolate hoop, she likes both of these, so my eldest is not over fussy. And then we've got a six pack of the freeway cola, I think all in total it's less than three pounds for the six bottles. So yeah, that was a miniature little haul. That was unexpected. Oh, I'm wrong. Oh, other half just pointed me to the to the pizza. So he bought a takeaway meat feast pizza, which we'll probably share tonight with a few French fries. Saved me cooking. Girls were having something simple with the hot dogs. So there we are, easy tea. I'd just like to say that you're probably going to see this haul, today is Monday, you're probably going to see it Tuesday. I have got a collaboration coming this week or next and I've also got a Wilkinson's, Wilco's online order which I will be putting on but leave in the comments if you're not interested in other shops. So thanks for watching and I will see you again soon. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, hit that notification bell. Bye for now.